Hi everyone, so as we saw in our last video we made a basic circuit that you can see on the screen uh, comprising of a battery, switch, resistor and LED. Um, so now what I need to do is take you through how to turn it into a PCB layout so it's going to actually construct a virtual version of what you're going to have to solder on in real life um, before we mill it out on our roll and mill now. There is two ways to do this, so there is the convert to PCB layout on the quick toolbar down the bottom there. Um, and as it says, convert a circuit diagram into a printed circuit board PCB layout. So there's that way, and under project, circuit symbols, there's another one there as well. So there's always two places to go in these programs for something like that. So I'm going to click on this one. We're going to go next. Um, we can choose our, what our tracks are going to look like. So we've got single-sided ones, three single-sided at the top with thick, normal, and thin. Uh, we've then got a double sided which we don't actually have the facilities to do um, and placement only in rats nest so you're not going to need those I'm going to select normal because why would we want anything other than normal it seems to be working fine for us at the moment uh, shape so you've got a choice between uh, rectangular or circular we'll go with rectangular okay and then it's as easy as pressing convert and then it places them for you now that's that's not actually it. So if you have a look on here, you see there's quite a bit of wasted space. Um, and if I was so inclined, um, I could actually rotate these. And if I like that a bit better, so I'm saving a little bit of space up the top there, I might be able to put my circuits a little bit closer together. But for our purposes, that's fine. Um, now the last thing we're going to do to actually make this so we're able to cut it out on our roll and mill, we're going to actually have to convert it to something called a Gerber file. Now a Gerber file is something that is acceptable by a uh, program called Coppercam that runs on our milling machine. So if I go up to File and we go to CAD slash CAM and you can export it as a DXF file which is an engineering file that most um, computer aided machines actually use. Um, unfortunately because we're using copper cam to cut out our circuits, we need a Gerber file, which is the third one down. So if I click on Gerber, there we go. Um, so we've got that, we've got all these here, um, making sure it's circuit board, solder side, component side, so it's got two different sides. As we know, we don't want um, them both to be solder sides. Uh, it's got something called a silk screen, and a uh, you've got to make sure it's got the drilling holes in there as well, so it's going to calculate those as well for you. Um, so if I change that to basic, Torch, and I go save as, um, and then we can save that. So it's going to be basic torch INF, and we can go save. Okay, okay. So then we've we've now saved that. So we can take that file to our rolling mill and cut it all out, so that we can start soldering it. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. Um, the last thing I might show you is if you want to save it normally as well, we can always go save it, and then we're going to save it as a CWZ is a circuit wizard um, file. So as you can see underneath that circuit wizard file. So if you want to save it, we can save it like that. Um, so that's all we're going to do, and then press enter. Okay, thank you for listening.